Okay. So this one, I'm going to talk about morals and food and weight. So it doesn't take long. Okay, so I hired somebody for $120 online to do a diet consult with me after I got done with the HCG to try to help me with a elimination diet with some of the harder foods like dairy and grains that I've been concerned about that really uh, cause my weight gain when I do gain and I need to have a handle on their effects on my body. And anyway, $120 later and an hour later, this woman said something along the lines of don't eat like an asshole. Now, and she said that was her diet tagline, or it was like her motivational phrase. And I was just disgusted, and I got what I could out of the, but the the general tone was, stay to your portions, don't eat so much, stay to your portions. Um, and it had that judgmental, and I'm just going to say my th- guess. I'm not an expert. I haven't done statistical research, but knowing what, from what I read, anorexic, anorexics generally haven't been overweight and they are like professional food restrictors. And I, um, think that I hear judgments from anorexic eaters about uh, portion management in a really harsh way um, and I feel they have no understanding of compulsive overeating in the way that I've experienced it. I just feel like we're different birds. It's like the difference between maybe eating like like doing heroin and drinking or being an alcoholic. They're similar but there's um, particular weaknesses and situations that the the other doesn't understand and personally I'm gonna definitely own that I don't understand how a person can go for weeks and weeks without eating because I'm never done that you know I'm not a restrictor in any kind of regular way I'm a restrict and then I overeat I mean I'm a bulimic restriction but we're talking about really fast day cycles I mean I haven't gone for a week and been super super skinny so I don't um, have a lot of judgment about eating foods um, and and all of that which I can really hear 